So, you're wondering what this game's about? You want to find out how to beat it? Come to the right channel. I'm Select Deviant and this is Scarlet Tower. This game's got a bunch of vampires and elves and different races of characters. All with one mission, slaying hordes. For reasons I know not. But, good for this character if you want to be very, very maneuverable. And that's good because the enemies will crush you if you're not. You can also go and enhance your general movement speed, which I recommend going for on the character. Now the talent area, that's what I've got on the build here. Going for the most important thing, pyromancy, enhancing your burn, and then corduroys. So when you burn enemies, you can get health back. Those two there will save you sometimes, but general speed is what you're going to be going for. So other things I've put on, a torturer, deals 25% damage to enemies afflicted by freeze or burn, Hence you see, going for a burn build is OP. Top of that, I've buffed my attack speed for my general attacks. Very, very good. And lifesteal, so heals between these three. Then on Torturer for the damage. You can also swap out for the Hunter, dealing to the elites more savage damage. But I like this one here because, well, it is general damage, a 25% general damage, and it doesn't really discriminate between what enemy hybrid or type. So, back to here, go for Violet. And as I say, there are other characters but they don't have the perks yet. I would love to get this character some specific skill sets, but we don't have it yet. Best thing about this character is the piercing. Godlike character, that one. Here we go. All right, let's go and just turn into a bat. Run around like crazy. Now, the bat's very useful. As you can see, maneuverability is key. And I'll show you why. Reroll or go for the growth shield. This one here. Very important, ton of HP. Also very important is going for cooldown over everything. And the Holy Bible is very baller. So we take that. We can also sit in here and be invulnerable. Practically invulnerable. Wish they had those everywhere. Now we're going for this one. Now the Holy Bible is... Arguably one of the most powerful upgrades you could go for because not only can we get it to a state where it gets into a frenzy of attack but if we get this and then add it to that one there we get a upgraded version which at its highest upgrade does insane damage and on top of that we can get another bible once we've fused these two and then have that side on the side of this upgraded bible and then we've got double bibles and then so you can do a triple set of that and it's very broken. So let's go and do that. And that's the goal really, is just get absolutely busted. <laughs> There's a lot of little traps around. One thing I will say about the game is I think that they should increase the size of uh, a lot of the smaller elements. Aesthetically though, the trees and the size of, let's say, the enemies is not too bad. Taking that, as I say, if you could focus on two upgrades to get out the gate, the two that I'm going for currently are pretty baller. Cool, and we've got Glacial Staff. But I do want to focus on getting my luck higher. That increases our chest drops. Also, gives us a bunch of really, really cool stuff. Like more upgrades in our chests, so on and so forth. Alright, we're taking fancy feet out the gates. We need more speed on our character. If we can get that to the max, we will be like Sonic. Vampirish Sonic. If there ever was such a creature, we shall become the creature. Okay, don't grab that. Uh, could grab this, that's also an option. And if you got that, and you went for an upgrade, you get a water staff, which is pretty good. Went for this first. As I say, get that movement speed looking really nice. And you will love yourself for that. You'll be wanting to go around and uh, jump around and go crazy. Thunder Staff all day, don't, don't grab that. Can be good later, but currently this is better. For the fusion, which gives us baller like mentalities. Oh, yeah. Wants us to grab all of these, we'll take this one. I 
And there's actually quite a few ways to do the game, currently. Because it's so vicious, what you want to kind of build is a fortress around you. And that's what I'm going for here. Frost Staff, yeah, we can grab that. And uh, we might actually, I'm looking for another before we do that, so we'll take this first. There's another very powerful upgrade. I wish to show you, my friend. Ooh, yeah, this is pretty good. Yep. That one they were going for. Very rare to find these, and they are very useful. The other one that's very good is that fireball I've just seen there. That's a really good one. As I say, it enhances our burn and corduroys, which gives us healing. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, considering what we could do with that, we could actually crack the game a little bit. Give us an extra fusion, which would be baller. A blizzard wand fusion. Hmm. I shall... What I will do is I'll take this instead. Basically, want to become a uh, moving bomb, a ticking bomb that ticks away. Whatever gets near us, we'll get wrecked. That's important. Thunderstruck is another rank. So we're on a pretty quick path here to a fusion. At least within the amount of time we've been playing, ranks do flow pretty quickly in the beginning. The game does have a familiar system coming on up. We'll take that. And I'm, when I say we'll take that, I mean, yeah, we'll take that. That's an awesome upgrade. Mainly for the healing. And uh, we'll go for this one here first. Velocity gets a buff. Velocity is very important. General rotation speed is going ham. See, we don't have enough of it. All right, let's go and give this one here a bit of a buff. A couple of things I wish they had um, added some more flair to would be like uh, the sacred water, which is just Santa. Okay, cool. Yes. I really ever grab that. Let's grab this. Skip around the back. Cool, we're taking that one there. So it's like cooldown, attack speed. With this corruption's robe, you tend to get a ton of cool stuff. Now that we got this movement speed though, we're doing all right. Okay, well, out of all these things, I'll take that one there. A scarf is very good. So we've almost maxed out what trinkets we will go for. Now we've got the haste scarf. Everything's getting a bit better. Now that's what I wanted to get the whole time. <laughs> Sometimes this game takes a very long time to give you the things you need. One discrepancy. Perhaps more re-rolls you could purchase in the shops. Enemy sizing and things like that are pretty good. The hitboxes are still a little bit atrocious. And that's being uh, just honest there. Which you will get on this channel. I keeps it real, would you? But uh, once I play these games, I create builds, come back, and I tend to have something that's pretty useful. So Hellfire is an excellent, excellent one to have. And I think it's a irreplaceable version of any attack you can get. It's very good. We're going to take armor as well to finish off our stack. So we've got health, we've got cooldown, we've got luck, speed, attack speed, and armor. And that's what I go for. I don't go for magnetism, I don't go for greed, and so that's the ultra way to do it. So now our health is at, what, 332? We're 
Let's have a little boss walk up on us. Which we will do our best to do away with. We'll take this one here. And our book and our thunder staff are almost at max, which means we get a fusion. Come on on up. The book's amazing because it just allows harvesting to happen. You can run around in a circle with the corruption drove in the book. Get yourself a casual W. Get the dubs. Alright, we're gonna take let's have a look here, that one there. How's it do it? It's the sound of its max setting being reached. Yeah, we, we can take hits in this part of the game. Take it hits in the latter part of the game? No, no, no. Gonna be a little bit more savvy. We'll take this one here first. There we go, there we go with it. Apply the burn. Get a little bit of HP back. And there we go with our new little enemy. It's gonna rock this guy. That's why this character is so good. That maneuverability just displayed is, is just one of the greatest things in the game. We'll take this. You will get hit every now and then. So you so you can't attack in uh, bat form with your sword. Everything else ticks off around you, which makes it very crazy. Yeah, we take that one there. It's okay, so now we got one more rank to go. We got a chest, fantastic. Grow shield gets a rank? Sure, why not? We got another chest, crazy. Yeah, yeah that's crazy good. We're about to kill this guy. Should we give us another chest on top of that? Okay, well, we could do all of these things. I'm gonna go for a backflip. Have a look at that one there. Now that we've done that, we can start to get our fusion. It's gonna be a big, big game changer. Ooh, not just yet, apparently. Should be able to get it in these chests. And we will go for fancy feet. So now our movement speed is pretty good. Generally speaking, you want to have like insane movement speed in this game. If you do not, on the base difficulty, you will die. A painful death. Alright, we're gonna take... More luck, sure. The amount of burn, the amount of ice. Kills everything you best believe. We've got maxed out fancy feet. Will do. And now I move like a Sonic. The very powerful Bibles is what we have. Very good movement speed. Awesome. Well, we're going to go for more attack speed. Because obviously it's the most important thing to prop our sword attacks. And practically everything else orbital wise. I'm 
I'm going to burn here. I'm going to chill with that. Go for burn. Highly important. Okay, we're taking this one here. Creature projectiles be by 50%. Piercing by 10. Right, now, a couple options. We're going for that one there. Ooh. Ooh, this is getting a little bit crazy. Let's take the Hellfire Staff all day. Hopefully we get a chest drop pretty soon. for attack speed. Hmm. Yeah, it makes HP. Sure. Uh, let's get a bit of this first. A bit of that. Give us a bit of safety. You'd be surprised at how much damage we're about to take. That jumps from, let's say, what? Attacks on your life of 10 to attacks on your life of 80. 80 HP in like one hit. Even more sometimes. It makes the game uh, roughly one of the toughest on the market. Perhaps it's just not as uh, patched as it should be. I think there's some patches that need to be put into place. This is very nice. Part right here. Okay, we're gonna go for a little bit of this. Yeah, this is awesome. This is the, my favorite part. It's where it gets tougher. Everything can pretty much like kill you in two hits. Where is the enemy? That's the one that we need to find. attack we just saw. We need to be able to find that guy. Okay, let's take a bit of this. Oh yeah, I saw him. Where is he? Coward. Come here, you coward. I can definitely hear him. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, Scarlet Sword. Increased projectile piercing by 50. Projectile duration by 300%. Area by 40. See, that's crazy. Hmm. Once you max out this character's main attack, it becomes a little bit beasty. Alright, we're gonna go for... This one here. You 
beautiful. Oh, we'll take a little bit of, say, hmm, this one here. Might as well. Cool. And now, see, this is the most broken thing. This is actually quite a broken strat. So, what you do is you upgrade your Bible, then you upgrade your Thunder Staff, and then you upgrade, let's say, one more thing like Hellfire Staff, and that will give you two fusions. Now, typically, what you have to do is you, in most games, you have to upgrade two together, and then you may be able to upgrade, like, let's say, this one with another one, but you can't do it in the same run. Well, in this game, you can. And for some reason, it allows you to get two fusions here. It's one of the most crack things you can do. <laughs> That's my little hack for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to drop a sub if you did. It's a little hack. Okay, so go and get um, that one there, that one there, and also so it's, it's the Holy Bible, the uh, Light uh, Thunder Staff, and then also the Massive, massive fire blaster stuff. Okay. And you get the goods. Now check this out. So we got a... A hundred... Attack boost. And we got... Cooldown looking pretty godlike. Bat form's pretty good by now. Bat form's pretty good. Awesome. Uh, we're probably going to go and put on... Let's have a look here. This one here. Yes, perfect. We're going to get that to a high level. 25% velocity. So pretty powerful ones here. We're able to kind of uh, lurk quite a few things as well. Right. Awesome. Okay, well now that we've got these two, we've got that one free up. We have a look here. Yes, we could go between frost and fire and give ourselves another upgrade. We could, we could, we could. Well, we must do, go and do that. Movement speed's pretty good. And my bat gives me just an extra boost. This guy's gonna try and murder us. Yep, so... Gotta get the attack to the highest phase. Yo, Puka! Pu Pew 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 cur. Every now and then we'll get hit, but burn's gonna help us out a lot, and that there increases damage by 15. Summons holy thunders, by the way. That thing there has just reached the apex. So yeah, we've got to have that movement speed. Don't. She's a whole other story. Okay, cool. Let's take this one here. Putrid Puka is what he is. Okay, cool. We might as well have a look at that one there. Which increases damage quite highly. Speed, some movement speed. 
cool. Alma gets another rank. Beautiful. All right. Good enough to halfway. Yeah, we're doing it. As I say, make sure you put the shoes on. Put them on the back. Bit close enough to give him a double up here. Double whammy there. Alright, I'll go for this one here. Up there. Stay back every now and then. Kind of have to. Found me a chest, bro. Nice, nice, nice. Is that food I see there? I'll take it. Alright. We might as well get this one here. Knockback goes up. Beautiful. 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 Fun, fun, fun. Fun times there, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, cool. Just shooting through and getting them. Gym Relic, yes. This is where you get to the later part of the game. Yep, we've got 700, by the way, which is broken. Uh, yep, we'll take that. Pretty epic. And we almost got him, eh? Didn't we? Told you we would. Did you believe me? Did you, did you, did you? When I said I said I'd give you a build. Oh yeah, Gem Relic. Contains 120. Well, we got the frost stuff, we got the gold relic. Basically, we're getting extra stuff. Now we've got more fun. More fun to be had, my friend. Yes, we could take some gold. Should we? Or should we max out? That one there. Well, we could do that one there, actually. But we'll go with this one. So for farming purposes, all intents of farming purposes, that's what you'd be doing. You go for that one. So Merc and that last boss is actually a hard one. Like if you've been struggling, I shall tell you the truth. He is not as easy as some people may say he is. He's tough. And good on you. If you, if you find yourself stuck, find this useful, come back, drop us up. I'll probably do a couple more and a couple more characters. A golden relic, yes. 350's worthy. I mean, what's left out? A little ice frost stuff. And a couple of uh, these guys. <laughs> you can't do anything to me. If we sit still, they might do, but apart from that. Basically, uh, murking. Merc, merc, merc. Fun game though. Once you, once you understand what you need, consistent merking is all you shall get. All you shall get, sir. We'll take this. Yeah, pretty chill. Pretty chill indeed. Oh we Can't wait to get through this. Okay, we've got a couple good things. I'm taking that one there. Which gives us the goods. There we go. 
the grandioso fight of the century. This guy is pins and assholes. He's just going to keep on coming at you. Because we've got these projectiles that go pretty much the whole screen. He doesn't stand as much a chance as he thinks he does. Between you and me, and me and him. I'm going to go around and try and smash him. Being trapped in a circle that's on fire, that heals us. It's not bad at all. We're consistently uh, burning the enemies, consistently burning him, healing ourselves. Between all of that goodness, we just start to become very broken. Take that one there. on the trees every now and then. Yes, I'm a bat. You can't catch me. Can't even dream of it. Getting healed, you see? And I'm out of here again. Check that out. Got some free life. Bat time, Betty Betty boys. Get yourself the bat boys. Get yourself a W. Hey, he's chasing me, but I've got way more speed than he has. Was she um, relatively broken in some ways? Because we've got the speed, we've got everything. Whenever he catches up, he can hit me. But needless to say. Flames is doing good. We're going down to halfway. Our health is back up again. Check out all this goodness, by the way. Hello. Welcome to the pantry. They made the plants do more damage, by the way. Was it like a 50%, 50 percent, um, fifty HP buff, something like that? A little bit crazy, a little bit too much. You're trying to make yourself different in the field of hordes. Don't make the players hate you. Difficulty is one thing. Insanity is another. Difficulty is insanely high on the first rank. It doesn't really push the players to want to play more. <laughs> so you gotta kind of would say go for the market of players and say it's hard and then there's just like is that supposed to be fun? I, don't know. I think Sekiro, Sekiro is a fun game in terms of Souls games I finished it uh, but it was, it was a nightmare like many other players it was a nightmare finished all the Souls games this guy's got no chance against me see how powerful the build is Pretty corrupted. And I didn't even know that tree area existed, by the way. How cool is that? Check it out. I did not even know that existed. That's just so cool. And this guy is croaking. He's getting burnt. Our heels are going up and up. Basically got him. And that there is the toughest boss so far. Keep on aiming at him. Smash him. This is death. <laughs> the one and only. I think the puker boss is a bit harder though because of uh, the speed of attacks. When the AoE lands, it basically hits you within one second and a half. Like it's just like an instant kill. So you have to really get out, because the speed is important. Uh, well, there's no point in that, we'll grab this. this is, so what the fusions that I've got is the uh, Underworld Tomb. Check it out. 
Hey. 25 minutes. That's a W in this game. The fusions that I've got. Underworld 2. Okay, pretty important. Gives you a massive buff and damage. Raziel's Tomb is very, very good. At the highest rank, it is one of the most baller things you can get. And then Scarlet Sword at its highest rank. So it's three things. Ultimately, it's Raziel's Tomb. And then if you can get that and then grab another Holy Bible and have that on the side of it and going around and around, you've got an, an impenetrable fortress on top of that. Corruption Robe is very, very powerful as well. So if you found that useful, don't forget to smack the sub button. Now let's go and have a look at the Builder game. Just to kind of put it into perspective. So this character here, first day one character you'll get. After you've done that, you have killed death, you've unlocked Vronimus. Vronimus. Throws a scythe that pierces every enemy, dealing 50 damage. Basically godlike. Basically death incarnate. Cool, I might come back and play that guy. And I'll probably come back once they add a bit more to the game. If you want to see more stuff before the other stuff drops, or consistent drops in this game, hang around. So once again, we're going to go for Pyromancy. 20%. Got Corduroys. Uh, very, very powerful. Burn them. Heal from the burns. And, uh, yeah, Unlockables. Got one more character to get. <laughs> I think I know where it is, too. Back here. Um, yeah, it's practically it. You guys enjoyed that? Drop the subs. Catch you soon. See ya.